Hey, so glad you're with us today. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 28. Our verses will be 21 through 25 here today. And we are going to uh, look and see what we can learn. If, uh, Saul has just had a uh, consulted a spirit medium. It's like, of course you don't do that. But anyway, here's the aftermath. Let's see what happens. And the woman came to Saul and saw that he was severely troubled and said to him, Look, your maidservant has obeyed your voice, and I have put my life in my hands and heeded the words which you spoke to me. Now, therefore, please heed also the voice of your maidservant, and let me set a piece of bread before you and eat, that you may have strength when you go on your way. But he refused and said, I will not eat. So his servants, together with the woman, urged him, and he heeded their voice. Then he arose from the ground and sat on the bed. Now the woman had a fatted calf in the house, and she hastened to kill it, and she took flour and kneaded it and baked unleavened bread from it. So she brought it before Saul and his servants, and they ate. Then they arose and went their away that night. So she wants to get him out of there. His servants wanted to get him out of there, and he finally uh, responds to that. Uh, by the way, did you notice this woman? She's got some self-interest going on here. She wants to get rid of this guy. This is Saul, who's all the uh, spirit mediums out of the land, but here she's still here. And um, she perhaps heard that interaction and understood that Israel's going to lose tomorrow, and she's probably ready to pack her stuff and, and uh, go over a few counties, get into a different space. But she's got to get rid of Saul first. So anyway, Saul finally responds kind of petulantly, and they get him out of there, and Saul goes back. So well, from here, we're going to take a break from Saul. We're going back and you know, flip scenes over to David and the Philistines again. That'll be tomorrow morning. But as far as uh, this here, what do we have? Well, somebody who appears to want to do well for you, they may be thinking a lot of their own situation. And this, this uh, lady in Endor, she may be thinking a lot of her own. Uh, it's time for me to uh, go and visit my Aunt Gertrude. She's trying to get out of this, probably get out of town here. Philistines are going to invade. She heard it with her own ears. So uh, there you have it. Strange stuff. Don't even go there. Don't ever consult a spirit medium. There's nothing there for you except confusion and despair. Saul went and tried to go around God. God wasn't answering him by prophets, and he went, he thought he would talk to a dead prophet. So we can see how well that worked out yesterday morning and today. Uh, what we need to do is listen to the prophets, and we can do that by reading from God's word, and we can get a fresh word from heaven every morning. Top that. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. We don't need to try to seek different authority sources, demonic sources that are opposed to your ways and your will and your wishes. We learn again from Saul in the negative here, this is something for us not to do. Oh Lord, help us to keep on your plan. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and be with you today in all that you do.